Hello people and welcome to my third tutorial. Now someone said a few hours ago that he wanted to be making the Feudal Rasengan instead of my latest version of the normal Rasengan. So basically the uh, yeah the glowing layer around the Rasengan. Okay I already made this tutorial like three times <laughs> because it couldn't catch my voice the first two times but it doesn't matter we're gonna be creating this okay what you guys have right now is this I'm gonna delete the mask is the Rasengan now if you wanna make it bigger or even smaller just go to the effects of the la Rasengan layer go to the CC sphere effect and increase or decrease the radius of the Rasengan. Now don't start scaling with the solid because that's gonna make the thing look ugly and blurry. So just scale up the CC sphere or scale down if you want to make it smaller or bigger. I um gonna copy the mask of this one. Actually I shouldn't have to leave it at solid, but that doesn't matter. And just copy paste the mask over there. So we have the shooting form over the Sangha. Now what I want you guys to do to drag the solid underneath the Rasengan solid and change the mode of the shooting form that solid to overlay now we'll click on the little cube to make the solid 3D so we can rotate it into a 3D space so we're gonna be rotating it X wise Z wise whatever you want and make the thing a lot bigger like scale it up to something like this looks pretty good so far Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is take the mask pen tool, click on the Rasengan solid, and make a mask that it will look like the Rasengan, the half of the Rasengan is actually underneath the uh, Shuringan layer. Now, it's very hard for me to explain, but it's basically this. Take a look at it closely you make like half a circle then you make like the rest of the mask a lot of space give it a lot of space and this will make it look like the shooting form is actually really around the uh, Rasengan. Now you still see the last part of the Rasengan but that's gonna be gone because we're gonna add a lot of effects to the shuriken yeah. you know let's just call the solid shuriken so don't have to explain it every time what it is solid settings shuriken like that okay so we're gonna add effects to the shuriken let's do that we're gonna go to effects stylize glow now just leave it as it is, the settings are perfect already so don't change anything, not needed. Now we're gonna go to uh, effect, color correction, exposure and bring it up to 10, that's what I liked in the first one, depends what you want, maybe in this case bring it up to like 5. And as I can see right now that the mask is pretty effed up oopsie daisy the mask is too small bring the mask down a little bit so we can see the Rasengan a bit more I'm gonna start animating the shuriken click on transform Z rotation now before you do that 
let's change the anchor point and make sure the thing will rotate according to what we want like the anchor point is right there as you can see like this sniper thing whatever you want to call it and let's make it like perfectly in the middle so it will rotate around that the whole time like this okay I'm gonna go like 10 seconds ahead make the thing like rotate like five times in this case minus five you want if you want to go to the other direction because I mean the thing is supposed to rotate to the left side like this uh, yeah, the real shotgun or a gun rotates as fast as a helicopter wing does, but that's gonna be in the advanced tutorial. For now, just keep it as it is. We're gonna go to the Y rotation. Gonna be playing around with that a little, like eight degrees there, and make it spin like minus five to there. So you're gonna get like this pretty cool animating thing okay now since we've done a rotation you can also do the X rotation by the way like this it's pretty freaking cool okay we're gonna be adding more effects to the shot again Act is gonna be CC radio fast blur. Put it on the Shuriken layer and make the amount like maybe 40, depends what you like best. Now, the reason why we made the solid like 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels is for this reason. If we make the radio thing, radio go up a lot if you want that make it look extreme like it's coming at the camera real quick see the thing animating like this in epic style like if you can see over here you know you just make it like a hundred thousand pixels by a hundred thousand because you can still see like the I, I can still see the line here where, where the layer ends so yeah that's one of the reasons why you need to make the layer very very big okay well like maybe 70 looks very cool but I would say 40 is the most realistic option to go with oh it's still loading so we're gonna enable it to 40 alright so so far we have a pretty sweet looking rotating shooting gun. Now, the next effect that we're going to be adding is an effect that you guys probably don't have, which is called uh, Trap Code Star Glow. This enables us to give it a very nice looking glow effect to it. Now, you can buy this of the trap code side I mean it's a very awesome effect but I also recommend it to download via BitTorrent oh I didn't say that I didn't say that I I bought it I didn't say that okay anyways uh, we go back to the star glow effect and we're gonna go to the preset and we'll choose either blue depends what you guys are gonna prefer or you can make it red if you want it to be the nine tails uh, chakra. Well, it takes long. PC is getting slower. Now, to make it like the one that I prefer is scope. That's the preset all the way down. Now, it's not too extreme. That's why I like it. You can make the streak length go up if you wanted to. It all depends on personal preferences and 